Good morning, and welcome to Credit for Life 2014. Credit for Life is one of the great things that we do here for the seniors at South Shore Votech. This gives you the opportunity to take one foot out of high school and step right into adulthood. So today is the day. Enjoy it. You all look very handsome and very professionally dressed. Good job. I know that you've learned a lot about this in your math class, and I know that you have a lot of information in front of you. So let's get started. Our first person this morning to speak to you is going to be Superintendent Hickey. So let's welcome him. Thank you, Mrs. Dutch. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. The first car I bought was a 1986 Chevy Nova. Looks like an old Corolla, right? I couldn't have been more proud of myself saving the money for that car. I also remember getting my first credit card as a sophomore in college. Got the thing in the mail, it had my name on it, a thousand dollar line of credit. First thing I did, I went to a restaurant with it. And for the next five years, I made that mistake quite often, using credit in order to fund my social life. And uh, as I got older, I realized Ooh, that probably wasn't a right, the right move. I, I really didn't have anybody guiding me through my high school and early college years. And I remember having to pay back my student loans where I got that first student loan bill. And it really was a wake-up call because I had no problem signing those promissory notes and what you do in school every year. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? Okay. And then in my early 20s, that was something that I really had to sit down and say, wait a minute, I'm making this much money as a teacher and I have my loans to pay back. It was a wake-up call. Your education today is worth years of mistakes that even I made. And so I hope you will take full advantage of this Credit for Life Fair. They say that the best education is transformative. You are literally not the same when the experience is over. You are wrapping up high school here. I hope you found this entire high school experience to be transformative. But if I had to pick one day, one day of your senior year that I think is the most transformative, it is the event that the math department puts on today. And you will not be the same by the end of it. And so as I made a comment in the, in the booklet, I hope you'll fully immerse yourself in today. You're dressed for it. You've got the right mindset. Experience it fully. Talk to your friends and classmates about it. Debrief with your teachers afterwards. It's a fantastic experience. And so I'll be around today. I'll be checking in with you, seeing how much money you do and don't have. And uh, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to introduce our vocational director, Mrs. Deborah Collins. Good morning. To piggyback on what Mr. Hickey just said, this is probably one of the most important days of your high school career. Something else I'm going to tell you, make your own coffee at home. Don't buy it every day, it's a lot of money. I'm also going to give you another word of advice. Always pay your mortgage first, because you don't want them to take your house. And the next thing you pay is your car. And the next thing you pay is your insurance. Because without those three things, <laughs> you can't get to work, and you have no place to sleep. So on a day like today, you'd get wet. Please pay attention to everything today. A little bit of feedback. Oh. I thought I was being like a, a you know, singer. Oh. No, enough of that. <laughs> so without further ado, I will end on that happy note, and I will pass it back to Mrs. Palmer. Or Mrs. Dutch. Or Mrs. Dutch. <laughs> also, also joining us this morning is a representative. Representative Jeff Deal, please welcome him. Thank you. 
Well, good morning. First of all, I want to thank Tom Hickey, your superintendent, for having me here. Really appreciate this opportunity to address you. Margaret Dutch, your principal, thank you very much for having me here as well. Rockland Trust, who's sponsoring this, they do a great job of sponsoring education uh, all across the uh, the region. So thanks to Rockland Trust for giving you guys those uh, nice binders you have, I think, with cal are there calculators in them? Yeah, it's going to help. The um, Anybody here from Abington, Whitman, or East Bridgewater? Right here? All right, so I represent you guys. But truthfully, I vote on issues that affect the whole state, so I really represent the interests of everybody in this room. Uh, and so, um, first of all, thanks for having me here. The, uh, the other thing, too, is <clears throat> when I graduated high school, I couldn't wait to not have to borrow money from mom. I, I wanted to get a job right away, but you know, we talked about going to college. So I went to college. I could not wait to get out of college to get my first job. And when I got my first job, you know, somebody told me once, well, you want to make, you know, your age. You know, you want, when I was 25, and I think this thing tries to tell you what your life is like when you're 25. When I was 25, I was hoping I'd make 25000 But unfortunately, I was making 18000 at the time in New York City. It was like I was losing money. I felt like I was losing money. So I didn't know what I was doing with my own money. There were no programs like this. I got married. Uh, my wife's, you know, great with, uh, with uh, a budget in the house, right? But we, we ran into somebody who gave us a little book called The Wealthy Barber. And uh, that was the only sort of financial planning tool we had. It was a story about you know, how you can invest your money and, and all these things. It's a great little book. But again, we never had a program like this to tell us at an early age where we should be saving, how to use credit effectively, things like that. And so you guys are going to benefit from this. The other thing, too, is when I first took office in 2011, the, uh, the treasurer, Steve Grossman, had just been sworn in, and he said he was going to be an activist treasurer. And one of the first things he did was to get a financial literacy bill passed which is what you guys are benefiting from today, is this private-public partnership to teach you how to take care of your money. Because it's one of the most critical things in our state is making sure that people do the right things with their money, stay in their homes, get to work, just like you heard before, and, you know, and then put some money away for the future. Because there's always going to be something you're going to need that money for for the future. And um, just one other quick note. So I'm on the uh, House Ways and Means Committee. Okay, we determine the budget for the entire state. We, about $36 billion we, we're about to spend in about two weeks. We're going to figure out where that money gets spent. Okay? As a state, we have to have a balanced budget. So we, have to, we can't spend more than we bring in. Now, the federal government, it's a different story. They can spend more, and then unfortunately, they can borrow. So you, I think you guys probably have all heard that the, you, we've got a, a huge debt. If you guys learn in your own you know, home life how to manage your budget, hopefully someday you'll run for office go to the state like myself, make sure we keep our balance, budget balanced, and then maybe somebody can go to D.C. and figure out how to get things done down there. But today, I just want to congratulate you on your opportunity to be able to take part in this program. And again, thank you very much for having me here. Next, with a few words to share, Mr. Scopoletti. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? No, no, come on, folks. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Very good, very good. Stop me if you've heard this one. 16 and a half academic days left. Have you heard that yet? 16 and a half, folks. The end is coming. The end is a beautiful thing. We'll be sad to see you go. But this is a great way to get ready for the real life that's about to see you in 16 and a half academic days. Folks, my job, I'll be the MC. I'll be making announcements when we're in the gym. I've uh, gone through, I've uh, shaken down everyone in the booth to get you some special deals. When you hear the word Shazam, that's right, Shazam. When you hear that word, stop and listen to what I'm going to say. I'm going to let you know about some promotions, some other big exciting deals that you can get. Uh, save you some money for this as you go. And that's everything that I have. There's going to be a lot of people in there to help you out. If you have any questions, please make sure you find them. And that will be that. Having said that, let me turn it back over to Ms. Dutch. Thank you. And last but not least, I'd like to introduce to you the teacher who makes all of this possible, Mrs. Palmer. Hi guys. So what I wanted to try to do is kind of take you on a little tour of your pad folio. So if you open your pad folio, the first thing you're going to see is your budget sheet. Okay, you should, you, oh, thank you so much. 
Uh, you'll see your budget sheet, and we're going to talk about that. So you kind of want to keep that in the front. We're going to talk about that in a minute. You'll see something that looks like this. This is the. This tells you a little bit about your profession. You'll see a credit card thing, whether you're approved or, or denied. You'll see your post-test, okay? Have we seen all those things? Excellent, okay. All right, so now I need your attention back up here for a minute. So I need all eyes up here. I'm waiting for eye contact. I'm waiting for the people who are in the center to give me some eye contact. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. So I need you to read this with me because this is the mantra that you have to have. So if you could say this with me, if I don't have a plan for my money, someone else will. Okay. Let's say it together. If I don't have a plan for my money, someone else will. That was a piece of of wisdom that was shared with me by Leo McNeil who brought the Credit to Life Fair to Massachusetts. Okay, so now let's get down to the nuts and bolts. You have a sheet that looks similar to this one. Your name is up here, your profession is here. Your annual income. Then you have your gross monthly income. And then you have the next horrible line. Because the next horrible line tells you how much the government takes for taxes. That would be your monthly payroll tax. The next line is the line that I want you to circle. It says net monthly pay. Use your pencil. Everyone is using pencil today. It's math class after all. And circle your net monthly pay. That's the number that you have to work with today. You may not overspend that. That's the goal, is to try to not overspend that. Okay, keep it down. Just If you have a question, just quietly ask your neighbor, where's that I'm supposed to circle? So do we have enough staff wandering around helping people make sure that they are circled? Okay. Okay, the, let's quiet down again, because I'm not going to talk over you. Okay, next, make sure that at some point you read this. It talks about your profession and, and what, you can, what kind of education that you might need in advance, to, to advance this uh, occupation. Come on. Back. Inside... Inside, inside this, inside this is a map. The map looks like that. You have that. It tells you all the booths that you have to visit. I need you to stay quiet again. If you're talking to a neighbor, just stop for a second. You must visit all 14 booths. The last booth that you visit is the credit counseling one, the one that's in the middle. That's where you take all your numbers to and they put it into the nice spreadsheet that Mr. Marani's class made for us. If at any time you feel like, ah, I don't have enough money, I'm not going to make it, go to the people in the center. They will help talk you off the ledge. Okay? Also, also, if you find that your occupation is something that is less than $30,000 and you just you can't see how I'm ever going to make a car payment, my insurance payment, my house payment, all this kind of stuff, go and get a second job like most of us have had to do. Second job, there's, only, there's a limited number of second jobs, but you can, you can go to the Career Counseling Center, which is on that end, and ask to apply for a second job as long as job is available. If you're earning $60,000 and you're a doctor, don't apply to work at Cumberland Farms. You won't be allowed. Okay? All right.
Okay, so here's what you all want to know. How do I get started? This is where... This is where your eyes really need to be on the screen because I'm going to flash through this. You're going to start at a certain booth according to what your name is, your last name that is. If you fall between Acuvetti and Brown, you're going to the transportation booth to start with. These signs are also attached to the booths, so if you forget, you can go look. Burnett to Cudero. Housing. Coughlin to Delima. You're starting at Furniture Booth. Derusha to Franco. You're at the Education Booth. Freeburg, is that how I say it? Freeburg to Healy. Clothing. Hogan to Kearney. You're in the Community Service. Kang to McLee, you're in reality check. You get to spin the wheel. McClellan to Morgan, you're going to career counseling to start with. That's where you'll be doing your interviews. More, Murray, Murray to Osgood, thank you. You're at health and nutrition. Perry to Tara, you're at luxury booth. And Thompson to win, you're at savings and retirement. That is where you will begin today. Shh. I'm not going to go through it again, but when you go inside, those same things are attached to the signage above the booth. So you'll see it'll look just like that. It'll be right above it, okay? Now I need you to be quiet again. Thank you. Once you're done at that booth, you may go to any other booth you want. If you are planning on having a roommate, you must travel together. You can't say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm living with uh, Frankie over there. No, Frankie and you have to go together. So that means you'll have to go together to the food booth as well, okay? Um, then, at any time, you can ask any volunteer for help. What do I do next? Where do I go? Okay? Again, listen for Mr. Scopoletti. What's the secret word? Shazam, right. If you hear Shazam, you know there's a sale going on. Listen up and head to that booth, okay? Okay, want to earn some money today? Yeah. Excellent. Everyone needs to go play Jeopardy at some point. If you're the winning team, the math department is going to decide how much you win. If you're the losing team, you might get some money if you really participated. If you didn't participate, you won't get any money, okay? So go play Jeopardy, pick four kids, and go against four other kids, okay? And then again, your last stop will be the credit counseling center in the middle. Okay, shh, shh, shh. last couple of slides right here. The goal today is not, not a race. You do not win anything for getting through this first, okay? The idea is not to be fast. It's also not, the, the idea here is I want to create a budget and I want to create a realistic budget and I want to learn what it's like to go out and live on my own. That's what the goal is today. So make sure it happens. Come on. Okay, remember it's not a game. You don't win if you end up with lots of money left. That's not realistic. I had a kid two years ago, ended up with $1,200 at the end of the month. Not. Said nobody ever. Nobody ends up with $1,200 at the end of the month. If, that means they weren't being realistic, okay? When you're done, you go to the center. They input all your data. They send it you off to a printer. You go to that printer that they tell you to. 
There will be exit counselors who will kind of talk you through what just the experience that you just had and talk to you about whether you were over and under budget. And then when you're done, done, I want you to take the post test. Looks like this. Everybody does it. Everybody turns it in. With your name on it and your teacher's name on it. And then you hand it to a guidance counselor. Please, some day, so at some point today, thank a volunteer, thank a teacher, thank an administrator. You cannot believe the hours that were put in to make this happen. And it's getting noisy again. Shh. Rockland Trust has given us a, a, a grant that got you all these pad folios. So make sure you thank someone from Rockland Trust. And last but not least, Thank each other for helping one another, okay? One more time. One more time, all together, ready? I don't have a plan. Thank you. Okay, I need you to put your, if you have a backpack, I need your backpack over there, okay? You may keep your pocketbooks with you, no jackets. And then you may exit the building. <laughs> Tina Palmer, I'm from South Shore Votech. I'm the math department chair here. And we're at the 2014 Credit for Life Fair, sponsored by Rockland Trust and the SSVT Adult Education. Today, as you can see, the students are already here. They're visiting the booths and having to learn to make some decisions. At the transportation booth, they have to make a decision on what kind of car they will buy, and then they'll go to the credit and lending in order to finance that car, and then they will go to insurance to get insurance for that car, and those are some of the decisions that they'll have to make today. As, you go, as we go through the day, you'll be hearing from some of the representatives, some of the volunteers at each booth, and then you'll hear from some of the students who are participating in today's fair, and we hope you enjoy it. Good morning, my name is Dawn from Rockland Trust Company and today we're working savings and retirement booth for the children. When they come around, we will be explaining to them what an individual retirement account is and the importance of contributing through your working time over 40 years or more uh, so that you can retire with some income. And we also will be talking to them about a monthly savings account for any emergencies, uh, money that they could access for new tires or a vacation. Shazam Alert, folks, Shazam Alert. Here we go, big one. 10% discount for bundling two insurance policies in the next 10 minutes over at the insurance booth. Bundle your insurance, two or more, 10% off. Come on down. My name is Stephanie Cody and I work at the marketing department of Rockland Trust and I'm here today at the Credit for Life Fair and I'm working at the luxury booth. So we are offering the students different items that they may or may not need as luxuries in life. One of the items that we require that they pick up is a cell phone plan. So we're offering them three different cell phone plans. Most of the students are sticking with what they have and going with the iPhone but realizing what an expense their parents are paying for their monthly fee. Some of the other items that we're offering are vacations, movie tickets, manicures, pedicures, things that the students may or may not need depending on their profession. So we're hoping to teach the students the difference between a need and a want at the luxury booth and um, helping them to make these decisions throughout the day. 
Hi, my name is Caitlin Safer and we are here at the Health and Nutrition booth at the Credit for Life Fair. And this is where kids come and pick um, between four different food plans, um, between mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, to maybe another food plan which is more fruits and veggies, more proteins. We want them to make healthy lifestyle choices when they're here. They're able to pick a gym membership if they so choose. We hope to see a lot of kids today. My name is Julie and I'm here at the South Shore Votech Credit for Life Fair today and we're running the clothing booth. And what we're doing is we are helping students um, dress for success. Uh, basically they come up to the booth and they let us know what their profession is and we basically set them up with what they're going to need for a wardrobe to get started on their profession. Um, along with that we also let them know that they are going to need to um, pay to launder their clothes, so the three different options that we offer are at-home laundry, um, dry cleaning, or a laundromat. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hi, I'm Donald Kerr, and I'm here at the Credit for Life Fair with the Continuing Education booth and training. What we do at this booth is we're teaching kids that whatever occupation they have, they may have some additional cost for going back to school to further their career, maybe to get a promotion or they may have some things that are a requirement as part of their job to keep their license. So we give them a monthly expense, which they have to write down and incorporate into their budget. They also get to choose on how they want to pay for that, whether it's with credit or from savings. In addition, in today's environment with the cost of education, there are some good companies out there that will pay for people's continuing, continuing education courses. There are also some companies that might pay for half of them. So we have the kids spin a wheel, and they get to decide whether they have to pay for the full cost themselves or whether the company is going to pay for those continuing education costs as well. So the kids will learn today about furthering their education and hopefully they find a lot of value out of it and understand what's going to happen when they get that job out there. We have seen a lot of kids here today. Hello, I'm Kimberly Cordero and I'm here at the Credit for Life Fair at South Shore Votech with my friend Christina Brennan. How's it going, Christina Brennan? Uh, it's pretty good. How's it going with you? pretty good. Um, it's definitely a learning experience. Um, there's a lot going on, lots of money to spend. <laughs> um, I, my job here is an electronic engineer, so I'm making $60,000 a year, or per month after taxes, $3,500. Uh, what about you, Christina? I am a computer software engineer, and I'm making like $3,000 3, after net pay and monthly pay, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> All those other things to pay. <laughs> Um, we're getting a place to live together and stuff like that. Um, things cost a lot more than you think they do. I definitely appreciate my parents a lot after this. Um, so, um, definitely a learning experience and we'll see where we go from here. My name is Michelle and I'm here in front of the housing booth. Um, we are working with the kids and helping them understand the realities of housing in our market, both in the Brockton area and in the South Shore area. We give them different amounts of money that they would have to spend a month for rental, as well as for our first, last, and security to move into the apartment. We have a lot of kids who have been rooming with people, but then we also have a lot who have decided to live with mom and dad and that's only $500 a month, so it's a deal. We hope that the kids are enjoying uh, this fair and that they're having an idea of how much housing actually costs in the South Shore area. Hi, I'm Amy Burke. I'm here with Rockland Trust doing the Credit for Life at South Shore Votech. My booth here is the furniture booth, and what we're doing is basically selling furniture to the kids. Um, whether they live at home or they have an apartment, they have to buy a mattress. So they're starting to realize that a lot comes with living in an apartment. You need a couch, you need a TV, you need a kitchen table. So a lot of them are starting off just buying the couch um, and a bed and then coming back and realizing that they need more. And also realizing what they can't afford as well. They can't buy a $500 TV because they need to save for a bed. So all in all, uh, I feel like the kids are learning a lot and it's, we're having a great day. 
Hi everyone, my name's Tom Hickey. I'm the Superintendent Director at South Shore of Oak Tech. I hope that you're enjoying the Credit for Life Fair that WHCA is putting on. I wanted to say that we are a school that emphasizes learning by doing. This is the day that shows kids applying everything that they've learned about financial literacy in one day long simulation. We've done this for five years and for the years that I've talked to the seniors, they are very appreciative of the work that our math department puts in. They're, uh, they're very happy about the exercise and they come away with some genuine learning about what their spending habits are and some of the things that they're going to need to consider as they embark out into the real world. These kids are going to be graduating in a few weeks, so the timing of this event is very important. So I'll take this opportunity to thank our entire math department, all of the community volunteers, especially Rockland Trust, that have come out today to uh, make this a, uh, a very valuable experience. So thanks again for watching. I'm John Paul, I'm from AAA and I'm at the transportation booth. And this is an interesting booth because we have a variety of vehicles here uh, ranging anywhere from a couple thousand dollars up to $45,000 as well as an option for students to take the T. So the students can look at various options, look at the various costs involved and be able to see. What's interesting is the kids are already learning that sometimes the cheapest car isn't the best value because that car may cost more for gasoline, the maintenance costs are going to be higher, so sometimes buying a car that's a little bit newer is a better value. The kids are coming in and they're, they seem to be picking that up pretty quickly. Also some of the kids are learning that you know working in Boston might be an option because they can take the T and save some monthly costs that way. So they're learning a lot, they're coming in and seeing a lot of the information and really kind of reasoning what it is. We do have the kids that are disappointed that go for the $45,000 Mustang GT only to come back and say, I really can't afford that. I need to look at something a little more expensive. So it just really is like real life. In fact, a lot of the teachers come by have said to us, I wish we did that when I was a kid. Hi, what we're doing here today at the credit and lending booth is we're uh, sort of teaching kids through their budget process on what kind of a vehicle they're gonna purchase and then what the monthly payment's gonna be. Um, it, it helps them um, figure out their budget. We've had some kids have had to go back and buy a vehicle that's a little bit cheaper because it's not within their budget. Um, it's to teach them overall how to balance their own expenses versus their income. Uh, we teach them about credit scores um, and why it's important to maintain your credit. Um, they also learn at this booth about credit cards, what they can do with a credit card, what the limits mean, <clears throat> and really helps these kids overall in real life situations figure out when they're making a purchase like a vehicle, things they should be looking for. Uh, and we hope they use this in, in their regular life when, when they leave this exercise here today. So um, it's been going very well so far, and I think the kids understand what we're trying to help them with. Hi, I'm Steve Richardson from David Richardson Insurance in Hanover, and we're here helping out with the uh, insurance booth today. The, uh, the students have come by and they needed to find um, an auto insurance coverage and tenants policy. We do a, uh, a health insurance coverage and a life insurance for them so that they'll have some idea of what the uh, um, costs might be when they actually get to uh, um, have to do it out on their own. So um, we have um, a list of vehicles that they can buy and they've purchased from down this, the next booth. And then uh, when they come down to us, we give them an insurance cost and we're making them roll their dice for a surcharge point or a credit, whichever they might need to do, and uh, kind of gives us a way to judge their driving skills on a uh, random basis. So that's, uh, that's what we've been doing here. Hi, I'm Kenny Barnes, and I'm here at South Shore of o Tech, and I'm participating in the Credit for Life program. And I'm with some fine young gentlemen here from South Shore of o Tech. Their names are? Shane Coughlin. Oh, I'm Dan Campbell. I'm CJ Grazioso. Hey. And uh, I'm Jake Riley. Now, uh, boys, what was your take on the Art Credit for Life program today? Do you guys like it, dislike it, what? Uh, you know, it's a real good time for the whole family. You know, uh, you could have a couple of Genos here and there. You know, it's a good time. Very good experience here. You know, uh, yeah. it really shows us uh, what life's going to be like outside of high school. I'd say. 
Yeah, it was pretty fun and uh, enjoyable. Hey. That's I it. enjoyed it. I actually think it's better than my real life, so I want to <laughs> switch places, actually. Now, uh, what was your guys' professions you guys were assigned today? You know, I was an uh, electrician. You know, it was a good time. What so. was your, uh, the mo money you made? Uh, $42,000, I guess. So oh, wow. there was that. Oh, you know, I'm an uh, electrical engineer making about sixty grand a year. Big spender. Mm -hmm. I was a firefighter making $31,000 a year. Uh, I was a yeah, personal I athletic Canada. trainer making this? 32 genos a year. Uh, now, what was the most shocking thing that you guys learned from the Cutter for Life program? Uh, the amount of money that I'm actually going to spend in a year, I'd say. Yeah, definitely the uh, monthly expenses that you don't account for, like food and all that yeah, stuff. True. True. Yes. I didn't know how much insurance would be. That kind of shocked me. Uh, just everything, how it adds up, it's just so crazy, you know? Yeah. Well, you heard it here live, folks. I'm South Shore of yeah. Credit for life gets us all. the career counseling booth so what we're doing today is um, we are having students come up show us their resumes we are going over what their salaries for their current positions are in their careers and then we're talking to them about part-time jobs for the weekends and the nights um, and the uh, hourly salaries that they'll be making which are comparable to minimum wage positions we're talking to them about um, budgeting their money so that they don't have to spend their weekends or nights working a part-time job and they're able to relax and, um, and spend their money then. We are looking at their resumes to make sure that they look good. And we're handing out some interview tips and resume writing brochures. We're also talking to them about appropriate dress for interviews and how to dress for success and then dress and dressing for a position that might be the one that they want, not the one that they're interviewing for. So we're hoping that they take away interview tips, resume tips, and um, also work-life balance. Hi, I'm Jean Travers and I'm with Rockland Trust. And this is the reality check booth where the students have to come and spin the wheel of fortune or misfortune. Uh, depending on the number that they choose, they either gain money or lose money, just like in real life. So a spin of the wheel could be that you get a bonus for doing a job well done, or that your, your car needs new tires and you have to pay for them. The kids also have to decide whether they're paying from cash or credit, and it depends on their credit history and their savings balance, just like real life. So, welcome. Hello, I'm Dennis Carmen. I'm the President and CEO of the United Way of Greater Plymouth County. And we are responsible today for the charity and the community services booth where students are given an opportunity to either give of their earnings in order to donate to charitable organizations in the area or they're allowed to volunteer. So those two options, what we're looking at is for them to make choices, but they need to recognize that there's a budgeting ramification, that they need to budget things just as if you would budget things like housing and transportation, you need to plan. So we're hoping that they're involved in their community in this way and that they view giving to a charitable organization as an investment in their community. And volunteering, what we have them do is if they want to volunteer, they actually write letters or notes of encouragement to patients on a cancer ward and ultimately we're going to take those to a local hospital so they're actually really doing community service while they're here. So hopefully they add that into their learning for the Credit for Life Fair. Um, hi, my name is Jacob Hyde, and I'm actually a senior here at South Shore Votech. I'm also the senior class president. And basically what we're doing here today is the Credit for Life Fair, where you go around to the 14 different booths, and basically you get to plan every single aspect of your life, which is very interesting. I made about $55,000 as my fictional occupation. I'm an architect, and I make, that leaves me with about 3,200 a month. So once you go around to the different booths, it really gives you a lot of exposure as to what you're going to get out of real life stepping out of high school, which is coming for us in a very short amount of time. So it's very exciting that we actually get real life exposure like this, and I'm glad that my classmates and I get to do it all together.
wondered if this made a difference. Sure. Let me look. The additional savings that was supposed to go there. So did you have a winning at um, no. a reality check? No, okay. How did you make the additional savings? It's from my monthly. It's like the leftover from my monthly payment. Well, that shows that monthly you want to save 680 but it doesn't go into your savings day one. Okay. Okay, so this is a budget of what you're going to spend. At the end of the month, you might have that, but you have spent whatever you spent this month. Yep. So you have to save it before you can spend it. Okay. Okay, so the budget has to talk about what you're spending. So they're just like $680 spending. left over for the month? That, yes. I mean, and that is what you're under budget. So in case anything else happens, yeah. a reality check, you know, you get your wisdom teeth, something, your car gets wrecked, okay. those type of things, you know, you'll have the ability to cover those. So here we are, we're wrapping up our Credit for Life 2014. And as you can see, we have a lot of students still at the Credit Counseling Center. These are, the students are giving their budget sheets to the counselors who are inputting some data. And in the end, they'll tell them how much over or under budget they are. I've seen a lot of panicky faces that a lot of kids are over budget, they don't have enough savings, they don't have enough credit, what are we going to do, help? And so they're getting some information from the credit counselors and from the exit counselors on how to deal with that. Uh, it's been a really great learning experience for these kids. We've had a lot of uh, students who had to go back and figure out how to do a different living situation or get a, a cheaper car, which would reduce their insurance. Uh, over here we have some students doing um, they are post-test. They had to do a pre-test that had the same questions on it. Hopefully they've learned something from all this. They've been told that if they don't know an answer to a particular question, that they should go to a booth and find the answer to that question. That's the uh, Credit for Life Fair in a nutshell, and we hope that you've had some fun watching this happen, and we've been had a really great time, and we want to thank Rockland Trust for sponsoring us.